Hey guys, so in this video we are going to talk a little bit about a subscriber question and it's hopefully a fairly straightforward one. And the question in question is, Frederick, how did you get good with React? How did you learn React? That's basically it, so let's get into it. Now React, I mean this probably applies to any tool whatsoever and the answer is going to be disappointingly easy and it's going to be practice. I know, right? Nobody saw that coming, right? But you see, the thing is that when it comes to any type of development, it is vital, well, anything really, it is vital that you get to practice with it. You need hands-on experience. Now, the tricky part here, and that's the thing that I think that at least I could relate to you, which I to maybe save you some time and hopefully steer you in the right direction. Because the thing is that as things stand today, just learning how to use the tool is its a good start. It's a, it is a good thing, but it is getting to the point where it's not good enough. Now let, let me just explain. So the thing is that you you're learning this tool for a reason. Now, just learning React is the basics of doing, well, not just React, of course, but it's the basics of doing front-end development. Knowing your tools and how to use them is the basic, uh, basics of any craft, but knowing how to, how to apply them in the correct manner is the tricky part. Learning how to do it at a professional level, if you will, that's the hard part. And that's the thing that you don't find all that much out there on the internet. There's, I don't, there's countless and countless of videos and tutorials about how to get started with React, how all the different wrappers like Create React App, for example, how to get that started and how to get a, like get a project up and running. Well, at least a basic one. And then there's tons of tutorials of how to make some very tiny little component but they will not teach you, and that's the thing you really need, and they, they will not teach you how to do this as a, at a professional level. They will not teach you the sort of considerations and the sort of things that you have to consider when you get up to a little bit of scale. Now, maybe that's not the intention, because let's be honest here, a lot of these tutorials are geared towards that exact thing, you know, teaching you the basics, and perhaps we do need, and I, that's what I, why I try to do what I do, because I do think that we need more people producing well, learning materials that are real, like things that come from the industry. It doesn't matter. Like, uh, the thing is, being an expert, guys, it's a really tricky thing. And I'm not saying that I'm an expert. I'm just saying that when you start a conversation, a blog or whatever, from the perspective of the expert, it becomes a little bit tricky for you because you have to stay in this comfort zone. You have to stick with the things that you are really good at because otherwise you risk people calling you out on stuff and saying that, hey, this is bullshit. Why are you giving away tips like that? There's, there's a much better way of doing Doing it. And to a lot of, I guess, professionals, that's a little bit like, it's, it's a scary thing. Uh, there's tons of people who don't really like being questioned or like going out and saying that, hey, this is the, because you know, you're exposing yourself, right? You're showing a way of working that you, like you're basically submitting your own software, your own skills and putting it up there for review, for the whole world to review it of dif from different variations of skill level. And different people are, you know, some people are really offensive and some people are not so offensive. offensive. So you can imagine from their, from a content contributor's perspective, how kind of dangerous that is. And then there's of course, tons of stuff that people don't actually really care all that much about. Like, you know, people ask me, how do I get good with React? And I say, as I said, I say that you have to have to practice and these are the ways that you have to practice. And I actually produce videos where I show you, literally, I walk you through exactly how I do it on a daily basis. But those are not the videos that are as popular as the shorter ones, which have more trend words, more buzzwords like microservices and stuff of this nature, which everybody is, you know, searching for, especially beginners, because they don't know any better. And that's, that's kind of the world we live in, guys. That's why you don't really see all that much to, in terms of tutorials. So the question then becomes, okay, what can you do to mitigate this? Well, 
you can learn what you can learn software development to a point where you can get a job that's the biggest thing you have to do guys it's um, doing side projects is great for learning purposes i mean i do side projects all the time like a lot of these videos that i make are also side projects i mean it's something that i build just to show you and of course in turn i learn and like i'm deep in my understanding of things but nothing beats work experience because the thing with work experience guys is that it forces you naturally to be pushed to a professional level because in the beginning it's it's uh, it's very similar to going to to the gym like if you are a hobby like a well uh, you just exercise a little bit you're going to first and foremost push yourself a little bit until you stabilize and you feel that hey this is comfortable and then you're like a at a beginner level but if you want to push that even further you have to become a professional athlete in order to be able to push yourself to that limit and when you stabilize there that's when you're in that you know well then you are an athlete you're like the average fitness level of an athlete is going to be a lot higher than somebody who just does it for fun same thing goes for programming so what i want you to take away from this guys is that in order for you to actually learn and get really good at say react or angular review start by learning the basics and when you have those basics build a few projects get some feel for it and then start to look into like talking to actual professionals who do this at the at you know a professional level i'm one of those people there's tons of other people out there who can help you with that and finally get a job doing it because you have to do it professionally to get really good at it have a great day